Hey guys, Alex here. I hope everyone's doing okay. It's the first day of the Manila lockdown and we are completely complying and staying at home. So I wanted to be productive throughout this month and make videos for you guys, which I'll be putting in a playlist in my YouTube channel. So I hope that you do check that out. We're all working from home and this way we can stay in touch with each other. If you have any topics that you want me to discuss, then please send them to me with the hashtag AskAlexa and I will do my best to address them as soon as possible. If you have song requests, we'll also be entertaining those. But for now, we're going to talk about a very important topic and that is how can we prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The World Health Organization advises the public to do four things to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Wash your hands before and after eating, don't cough into your hand, don't sneeze into your hand, and above all, keep your hands and fingers away from your eyes, mouth, and nose. In other words, don't touch men, mouth, eyes, and nose. But how come this simple advice to prevent this virus is also so hard to follow. Why is it important to stop touching your face? And how can we help achieve this? Let's find out. Face touching is an instinctive response to stress. And for a lot of people, it's subconscious and it's been something that has been ingrained into our behavior since childhood. What you don't see are the legions of germs that are on your hands coming from every surface, keyboard, phone, doorknob, and light switch that you touch. These germs hitch a ride from your hands straight to your throat, sinuses, and lungs. Respiratory illnesses like the coronavirus can be spread through droplets in the air when an infected or sick person talks, coughs, or breathes near you, or through direct contact with bacteria, viruses, and germs from surfaces that have been contaminated. When we touch people who are sick or touch contaminated surfaces with germs, then we are actually picking up this bacteria and contaminating our hands. We can then infect ourselves with those germs by touching our face. According to Dr. William Sawyer, the founder of Henry the Hand, a nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting proper hand hygiene, not touching your facial mucous membranes, an area known as the T-zone, which include your eyes, nose, and mouth, is the most important step to prevent an infection. This single habit alone would be more effective than any vaccine that could ever be created. And just instilling this habit into everyone would be the best step that we can take to prevent a pandemic. People are much more likely to contract the coronavirus from touching a surface that has been contaminated and then touching their face than they are from directly breathing it from someone who is infected. And the scary thing is, when you contract this disease through your hands, you're not actually infecting someone down the street, but you are infecting yourself. So how do you stop touching your face? Number one, set reminders. We need to be vigilant in avoiding touching our face, especially now that the coronavirus is on the loose. Change your phone wallpaper to a reminder not to touch your face. Leave post-its on your laptop, keyboards, and around your room. It's really better to be careful and to always remind ourselves to break this toxic habit. There's also a new web-based app called DontTouchYourFace.com where they use artificial intelligence to observe your behavior via webcam and then send you reminders not to touch your face when you're about to. It's better to be safe than sorry. A respiratory illness such as the coronavirus can enter into your mucous membranes within less than one minute. And if you have COVID-19, then most likely it started through your eyes, nose, or mouth. Number two, use barriers. 
Applying something to your face can help prevent you from touching it. With clean hands, apply a thin layer of moisturizer or Vaseline to your face to reduce that itch and urge to constantly scratch your face. Another tip that you could do is to apply makeup, even if you're just staying at home. It's been proven that when you're wearing makeup, you are less likely to touch your face because you don't want it to smudge. Of course, you don't want your eyeliner, eyeshadow, lashes, contour to move at all. So even if you're just staying at home, consider putting makeup just so that you don't touch your face. Another way to prevent touching your face is to use face masks. But please, if you're staying at home, restrict it to reusable face masks so that we don't contribute to the shortage. And if you want to treat yourself while working at home, you could also hit your skincare at the same time and use gel masks, sheet masks, or whatever your preferred facial mask is. For nail biters like me, applying nail polish or even clear nail polish will help prevent you from biting your nails. If you need them, it would be great to consider using your glasses for now instead of wearing contact lenses. That's because contact lenses tend to dry your eyes out and that's one of the leading reasons that people scratch or rub their eyes. Plus, of course, there's no way to take off or put on contact lenses without touching your eye. This brings me to my next point, number three, keep your face and eyes moisturized. Invest in a good moisturizer and include that into your skincare routine and always have eye drops on hand to keep your eyes refreshed and rejuvenated the whole day. When you have dry skin or eyes, the tendency is that you will have a greater urge to scratch and touch your face. So by adding in a few steps to your daily skincare routine, you can help prevent this habit, which will in turn help keep you and your loved ones safe from the coronavirus. Number four, replace it with another habit. The average person touches their face 23 times every hour. That's more than 500 times per day. You can avoid this by always keeping your hands busy. If you feel the urge to touch your face, have a stress ball or a fidget spinner on hand and instead of touching your face, then reach for that instead. But don't forget to regularly sanitize it also. Or instead of touching your face, then touch your arm or your knee instead. This will satisfy that urge to touch, but at the same time, reduce your chances of contracting the virus. Number five, use tissue. If you really have a pesky itch that just won't go away and you absolutely need to touch your face, then first wash your hands and completely dry them. Then number two is pick up a clean tissue and cover your finger with it before you scratch. It's our bare skin contact with our face that we need to completely avoid. After using the tissue to scratch your face, then always make sure that you immediately dispose of it. Number six, meditation and mindfulness. The next time you have an urge to scratch your face, instead of reacting to it immediately, take a step back, pause, close your eyes and breathe. Imagine the hundreds of thousands of people who are being affected by the coronavirus today and slowly feel that urge to scratch your face fade away. That's all that I have for you for today. I hope that this video helped in any way. And more than that, I hope that you and your families are all safe in this crazy time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We will be making many more videos for you during this month long lockdown. Sending you all my love and prayers. See you in the next video.